Good evening there, everybody. What is happening? Hopefully, y'all are having a wonderful day today. So when it comes down to it, I thought, of course, that <laughs> I would give my little fight review of the AJ Anthony Joshua versus Danny Dubois fight. <laughs> and of course, for those of you that can see this picture, for those of you that did not end up watching the fight, it did not end up well for Mr. AJ Anthony Joshua, who, of course, I believe was trying to become a three weight, or excuse me, not a three weight, but a three time world champion at this point in time, and a three time heavyweight world champion. But of course, Anthony Joshua, even though he was favored in this fight, for those of you that did not end up hearing about the results, Anthony Joshua didn't just end up losing this fight, but he pretty much ended up getting demolished, you know. And I'm not really quite sure what to make of this fight. You know, I mean, there are certain faults that I've seen with an Anthony Joshua style before to where he has a little bit of a problem changing levels. Sometimes he'll keep his chin a little bit too high up in the air. He doesn't really use his jab enough. Sometimes he can be a little bit flat-footed or slow-footed. Anthony Joshua, even for as talented, especially athletically as what he is, he's always had, you know, a certain amount of faults within that of his boxing style. But I don't think that I've ever seen AJ <laughs> Anthony Joshua probably look as bad as what he did today against that of a Danny Dubois. I mean, I did not personally put my fight prediction out there but if I was going to put my fight prediction out there I probably would have predicted Anthony Joshua to knock out Danny Dubois within about six to seven rounds just to my personal view I thought that he was going to be the better boxer I thought that he was going to be the better counter puncher I thought that he was going to move off center a little bit better than what he did but none of those things ended up happening today and Danny Dubois of course we have to give him a lot of credit especially because of the turnaround in his career. Yes, he ended up suffering a couple of losses in his career, one to Joe Joyce and one to that of Alexander Usyk. Both of those losses were by stoppage, but when it came down to the overall, you know, at the end of the day, it just goes to show you that you can always try and march your way forward and become better uh, at your personal profession or better as an all-around complete person. You know, just is what it is. But <laughs> why did AJ Anthony Joshua end up losing this fight? The way that he did well first of all when you talk about it anthony joshua you would expect someone that is a multiple time heavyweight world champion you would expect someone overall you know at least of his caliber someone that has the resume for the heavyweight division that he has had to show a little bit better of the boxing basics i mean anthony joshua showed almost literally no boxing basics within this fight first of all his head level did not change whatsoever there was almost no changing of levels within this fight there was almost no moving his head off the center line. Pretty much every jab that Daniel Dubois really wanted to land against AJ Anthony Joshua, he landed. And on top of that, I'm not really quite sure if AJ Anthony Joshua, if he gained a little bit more muscle mass for this fight, but he did look a little bit more muscly to me within this fight. And at times, you know, as what people say, muscles are great, but muscles don't win you fights. And this has been shown, you know, repeatedly. It was shown within that of the Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder fight. It was also shown within that of the Andrew Weese versus AJ Anthony Joshua first fight. So the question is, is that did Anthony Joshua come in a little bit more muscle bound this time? Now, I'd have to take a look at his weight. Maybe he was around the same weight, but he looked a little bit more muscle bound to me within this fight. And perhaps AJ Anthony Joshua, perhaps he underestimated that of a Danny Dubois and did not expect him to do as well as what he did. I'm not really quite sure, but it certainly possibly looks like that because once again, AJ, AJ Anthony Joshua had no answers for whatever Danny Dubois was coming his way, you know, or throwing his way. He had no answer for a jab. He had no answer for that overhand right right here that you see in the picture that ended up landing. And every time that Danny Dubois would end up throwing a punch, AJ Anthony Joshua would always make a very crucial mistake. He would either back up straight forward or straight back, excuse me. He would always back up straight back, you know, with his hands sometimes down, not changing levels whatsoever, not moving his head, not moving his head off the center line, basically meaning that his head was a guaranteed hitting spot for that of Danny Dubois the whole entire fight, you know. So AJ Anthony Joshua showed a very, very, very poor performance within this fight. And to be quite honest with you, within that of the first round, he ended up pretty much showing that, to be honest with you, he looked a little bit gassed. And that's why I say that I'm almost wondering if AJ Anthony Joshua, if he did not train quite as hard for this fight, or he thought that it was going to be a clear knockout for himself within that about six or seven rounds. And I personally gave Danny Dubois only about a 30% chance to win against AJ, because I thought that AJ was going to counter a lot better than what he did. 
I thought that AJ Anthony Joshua was going to be the more maneuverable opponent, and AJ has never been a great mover. He's never moved his head off the center line well. He's never used his feet to the best of his ability. He's never usually done that, but usually he does it to a better degree than that of a Danny Dubois. But Danny Dubois, I think, ended up surprising AJ Anthony Joshua. And of course, when he ended up hitting him within that first round, it hurt AJ Anthony Joshua very bad. Now, in the last round of the fight, I believe, which was either rounds, you know, five, six, or seven, I can't even remember at this point. I think it was round six. But AJ Anthony Joshua, of course, he hurt Danny Dubois with a certain punch, backed him up, hit him with a couple of good punches. And instead of being patient and just trying to pick up the pace from there, and then eventually possibly get the knockout, AJ Anthony Joshua went for the knockout immediately. And he did one of the worst punches that for any boxer, whether amateur or professional or just starting in a boxing gym, he did one of the worst possible punches that anyone can do, which is an uppercut from completely right field, <laughs> which is from, you know, starting off with an uppercut when your opponent can hit you with the right cross. And Danny Dubois, of course, hit Anthony Joshua right on the chin when he tried to do that. You never lead with an uppercut overall from way too far outside the range, especially when your opponent, you know, overall has not quite thrown the jab completely. AJ Anthony Joshua was just completely thrown off in this fight. And he did not really quite look like the same fighter to me. He looked like a fighter once again that I think took this fight way too easily. We'll have to see if a rematch does occur because this is not going to be easy for AJ Anthony Joshua to come back from. This is probably the worst loss in his career. And of course, he got pretty much outboxed by that of Alexander Usyk. But at least you can debate that Joshua won a few rounds in those fights, you know, or at least, you know, gave Usyk some competition, especially in that of the rematch. But in this fight, I mean, it was no competition whatsoever. I think that AJ Anthony Joshua even looked better in the first Andrew Ruiz match. Like, he, he had more rhythm and more movement in the first Andrew Ruiz match. But I don't really remember how old Anthony Joshua is. Maybe he's in his mid-30s now. I can't really remember. But to be quite honest with you, it might be getting to the point overall to where AJ Anthony Joshua, he just might have to retire. So we'll see overall what ends up happening. But where do these two go from here? Well, we'll see what happens. Danny Dubois stated that he would love to face Alexander Usyk in a rematch. Would I predict him to beat Alexander Usyk in a rematch as long as Usyk's age is not starting to get a hold of him? No, personally, I wouldn't. I think that Usyk is way too skilled for any of the other heavyweights in the division, usually other than maybe that of a Tyson Fury and maybe one other name, if I'm not thinking of any right now. You know, where do I think Anthony Joshua goes from here? Well, apparently there's a potential rematch clause, and we'll see if AJ Anthony Joshua, of course, if he ends up going for it. But it's going to be interesting to see how AJ Anthony Joshua looks in the rematch because Danny Dubois whooped his ass <laughs> from pillar to post throughout this whole entire fight. So it's going to be very interesting. But once again, very unfortunate not to necessarily see AJ Anthony Joshua lose completely because, you know, may the best man win. But at the end of the day, very unfortunate to see Anthony Joshua really put on such a piss poor performance, especially compared to some of his other performances. Once again, AJ Anthony Joshua has always been somewhat of a flawed fighter. But never have I ever seen him in the ring look this bad. Never have I ever seen the changing of levels or the head movement or the boxing basics look as bad as what it personally did today. I mean, AJ Anthony Joshua, in my view, he looks like a completely different fighter. I mean, not completely, because many of the same faults that he had always shown were there. But at the end of the day, the question is, is that was this because <laughs> Danny Dubois, he was a little bit more powerful and a little bit more bigger in size than what AJ Anthony Joshua expected? Was he a little bit better than what he expected? I think that that's a part of that. But once again, AJ, to be honest with you, he looked gassed overall even from the first round when he got knocked down. And could that have also been a part of it? Because, of course, when certain fighters, they don't train as hard or when they don't take their opponents as seriously, it's easier for them to get knocked down because they're not in as good of conditioning. I definitely saw AJ Anthony Joshua not be in as good a conditioning in the first Andrew Ruiz fight when he thought that he was just going to knock out that marshmallow within about three rounds, which of course didn't end up occurring, you know, but very poor uh, performance by AJ Anthony Joshua. I hope that he's somewhat able to bounce back, but to be honest with you, I'm not sure if AJ Anthony Joshua is going to be able to bounce back from this. Very similar to that of a Deontay Wilder. I'm not sure if Deontay Wilder is going to be able to bounce back from the recent losses that he just took, especially that loss against that of a Wele Zhang, you know, and uh, or whatever his name is, a Big Bang Zhang. And it's, it's, it's probably good that he didn't end up fighting that one Chinese guy. I mean, maybe it would have been better because Zhang doesn't throw as much as a Dubois. But either way, Anthony Joshua, you know, to be honest with you, he didn't look like he was going to even be able to compete with some of the top 10 level heavyweights in this division after today. 
So the question is, is that will AJ Anthony Yacho get better? We'll have to see. But it's definitely a good thing that AJ didn't step in the ring with a Usyk or a Fury in this type of condition. Uh, but of course, I would have assumed that AJ would have looked better, you know, than what he did today had he done that. But we'll see. Is AJ Anthony Joshua done? Is he just completely washed up? You know, is he, <laughs> is he, you know, just not quite the same fighter anymore? You know, is he a guy that just heavily underestimated Danny Dubois and only looked good because, you know, maybe, you know, he was fighting against guys that really weren't that great of boxers in his last few fights? It's very possible. It's a little bit hard to judge. I don't really know. And it's going to be an interesting thing to see where AJ Anthony Joshua goes from here. Because do you really want to take that rematch? Do you potentially want to get your ass completely whooped overall, you know, potentially again? Because if AJ Anthony Joshua loses again, his career is basically over. Uh, you know, we'll see what happens. Now, of course, we kind of thought that, you know, before. But it's a little bit understandable to lose to an Alexander Usyk or that of a Tyson Fury. But if you lose to a Danny Dubois, someone that was <laughs> heavily, heavily the underdog within this fight, and someone overall that has already suffered two losses in their career and knockout losses at that you know, is definitely not the best of looks. So we'll see what happens. But anyways, very poor performance by that of AJ Anthony Joshua. Uh, did not show great defense whatsoever. Did not show any level changes. Did not show uh, any head movement or moving off the center line. To be quite honest with you, he looked like a complete novice at boxing within this fight. And AJ has always made some beginner mistakes, to be quite honest with you. But AJ Anthony Joshua in this fight, I mean, <laughs> even the past stuff that he ended up learning, it looked like he pretty much threw all that completely out the window. So it is what it is. But anyways, that pretty much is about it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see where this goes. And congratulations to Mr. Danny Dubois for not only getting the biggest win of his career, but completely turning around his career and kind of getting that monkey off of his back a little bit and getting some of the criticism that I'm sure was following him for a very long time for being a quote-unquote quitter against that of Alexander Usyk and also that of a, what was his name, a Joe Joyce. Even though I don't really criticize him for either because Alexander Usyk was clearly getting the better of him and hurting him. And on top of that, Joe Joyce, he caused Danny Dubois to have a broken orbital eye bone, a broken eye socket, I believe. So I really don't go after him too much. But Danny Dubois in his last two fights, you have to give the man a lot of credit. The man ended up defeating the undefeated Philip Pergovich, who I always thought was a bit overrated, but he ended up stopping him. And now he ended up stopping who is one of the greater heavyweights of this generation. Now, in my view, AJ, he, <laughs> he looked like complete shit. You know, he looked like a fighter that was completely done, you know, but, you know, it is what it is. We'll have to see what ends up happening next. But congratulations to Mr. Danny Dubois. The fight that I would actually love to see next, if this rematch does not occur, I would love to see Danny Dubois against that of a Big Bang Zhang, you know, or maybe a Joseph Parker, something like that. I would love to see either one of those two fights. You know, we'll see what ends up happening. Or maybe that one dude that ended up knocking out Jared, <laughs> Jared Big Baby Anderson. There's been a whole lot of upsets recently in the heavyweight division. All the way from Usyk versus Tyson Fury. At least some people counted that as an upset because of Fury's size and combined skill. Getting beat by the littler man in Usyk. AJ Anthony Joshua versus Danny Dubois. You know, Jared Big Baby Anderson versus that one African fighter, I believe. And there's probably even a couple of others that <laughs> I'm not I'm not mentioning. Maybe Wilder versus Zhang. I mean, personally, I favored Zhang in that fight, but it may have been an upset according to the odds makers. I don't know. The heavyweight division definitely has been a very interesting place. But very, very sad to see that AJ Anthony Joshua, uh, once again, that he did not, uh, you know, once again, show the best, uh, you know, boxing ability in there. And he's never really been an A-plus skilled level boxer. You know, but usually he does enough, you know, usually to make up for it in terms of winning at least some of his bigger matches. But today he just looked terrible. There was just nothing, once again, that showed that he was on the elite level of boxing whatsoever. You know, but it is what it is. But anyways, that pretty much is about it for today. We'll see where Mr. AJ Anthony Joshua goes from here. It's going to be very interesting to see. But we'll see. But that pretty much is about it for today. Thank you all so much for watching and congratulations to Mr. Dane Dubois. We'll see what happens.